Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lovely and for today's topic, we're going to be talking about the details, the complete guide about the recent travel requirements to the Philippines for Filipino nationals and foreign nationals. According to the IATF advisory, Resolution number 160A and 160B dated February 2022, please be advised that the following revised travel restrictions, guidelines, and quarantine qualifications shall take effect February 10, 2022. Who can enter the Philippines now? We have the dual citizens, the Balikbayan program, these are accompanying foreign spouses and children of Filipino citizens and former Filipino citizens. If not traveling with a Filipino citizen, the foreign spouses, minor children, and children with special needs of foreign Filipino nationals. The permanent immigrant visa holders with valid visas can also enter the country. And the incoming of foreign government officials traveling for posting and assignment in the Philippines. And the foreign individuals sponsored or endorsed by the Department of Trade and Industry, the PESA, the Department of Transportation, and other national government agencies or instrumentalities. Foreign seafarers for purpose of ship rotation the special visa holders with valid IDs, foreign nationals allowed entry pursuant to IATF Resolution Number 98, and Filipino or foreign nationals eligible for issuance of 9G and 47A visas. And the recently added are the foreign or the fully vaccinated nationals of non-visa required countries under Executive Order 408. Now, for Filipino nationals entering the Philippines, what are the requirements? For full, fully vaccinated Filipino nationals, a negative RT-PCR test must be presented, taken, within 48 hours prior to department from country of origin or first port of embarkation. Next is they must be fully vaccinated. They must receive the second dose in a two dose series or a single dose vaccine more than 40 days prior to the date and time of departure from the country of origin. And they must I self monitor for symptoms for seven days. Um, the mandatory facility based quarantine is no longer required for fully vaccinated Filipino nationals entering the country starting February 10, 2022. Now, what are the requirements for the unvaccinated, partially vaccinated? or Filipino nationals whose vaccination status cannot be independently validated. They must present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to the department from country of origin of first port of embarkation. They will also be observed or they will book a five days or five days of quarantine, facility-based quarantine until the release of their negative RT-PCR test on the fifth day from the date of arrival, and they will undergo home quarantine for two days until the 14th day of arrival, and the local government units of destination and their barangay health emergency response teams are to be monitoring as well. Now, for the unvaccinated minor Filipino nationals, for uh, minor nationals below Filipinos below 12 years old, they shall follow the quarantine protocols of their parents or accompanying adult or guardian traveling with them. Now, if the Filipino minors is between are between 12 to 17 years old, they shall now follow the classification and procedures 
based on their vaccination status, all their parents or an accompanying adult or guardian traveling with them. Now, for fully recovered Filipino nationals with their RT-PCR tests, pre-departure test results, they must provide a positive, the positive RT-PCR test result not earlier than 10 days, not later than 30 days upon their arrival to the Philippines. They shall also pre present the positive test or present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to the department from country of origin. And they must also present a medical certificate issued by a licensed physician stated that the condition was an asymptomatic, mild, moderate, severe, or critical case of COVID-19. And they will observe seven days self-monitoring for fully vaccinated uh, Filipino nationals who just fully recovered and for unvaccinated, partially unvaccin partially vaccinated or or the status cannot be determined, they will observe or they will be they will observe five days of facility based quarantine until the release of negative RT PCR tests to home quarantine until fourteenth day and for monitoring. Now, for foreign nationals entering the Philippines visa-free, these are the following list of countries that are visa-free entry to the Philippines. I'm going to mention few. We have Australia, France, Germany, Myanmar, uh, Nicaragua, Panama, Paraguay, we have Chile, Denmark, Saudi Arabia, Republic of Korea, South Africa, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates, USA, Venezuela, Zambia, Vietnam. Now, for foreign nationals entering the visa Philippines visa-free, these are the former Filipinos with a Balikbayan privilege and the foreign nationals from countries entitled to stay not exceeding 30 days under the executive order 408. What are the requirements? Now, they must be fully vaccinated except for minors below 12 years old. They must present an acceptable proof of COVID-19 vaccination. They must present a negative RT-PCR test taken within 48 hours prior to the departure from country of origin and a valid return ticket not later than 30 days. They must also present a passport valid before at least six months and a travel insurance for COVID-19 minimum coverage of 35,000 US dollars. Also, they will conduct a seven-day self-monitoring for symptoms. Now, for foreign children traveling with Filipino nationals, for unvaccinated foreign children below 12 years old traveling with Filipino parents shall follow the health and quarantine protocols of their Filipino parents traveling with them. And for unvaccinated foreign children from 12 to 17 years old traveling with Filipino parents, they shall also follow the health and quarantine requirements relative to their vaccination status. Now, for foreign nationals entering through a 9A visa, these foreign nationals coming from the visa required countries or restricted countries shall secure an entry exemption document or the EEB doc. Of course, the requirements are fully vaccinated. They must present proof of COVID-19 vaccination. They must have a negative RT-PCR test within 48 hours prior to departure. And they will isolate, self-monitor for seven days for symptoms. Now, for foreign nationals who fail to present acceptable proof of vaccination shall be subject to five days facility-based quarantine until release of the negative RT-PCR test and two to 14 days home quarantine. Now, for foreign nationals with other visa 
types of visas. We have, other than the 9A visas, they would just have simply to provide the same fully vaccinated, uh, proof of COVID vaccination, negative RT-PCR test, seven days of monitoring symptoms, and not fully vaccinated individuals under this category, no, under under this category with existing visas other than the 9A visa shall be denied entry. Okay. Now, what are the vaccination requirements? The basis of vaccination requirements to be full to, for the status of full vaccination uh, receive second dose for two dose series or single dose more than 14 days prior to arrival in the Philippines. The vaccine must be included in the emergency use authorization list and compassionate special permit issued by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration. And also, it must be listed under the emergency listing of the WHO or the World Health Organization. I'm going to show you the list of qualified COVID-19 vaccines. I'll name few. We have Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca. As you have Johnson & Johnson, Sinovac, Sinopharm, Novavax, CureVac, and so on. Now, what are the proof of vaccination? So, you provide as proof of vaccination, you can present any of the following. We have the, yellow, the WHO yellow card or the World Health Organization International Certificate of Vaccination and Prophylaxis. So in the screen, you will see the yellow card sample photo. And if you are vaccinated in the Philippines, you can get your Vaxer TH. You can just present your Vaxer TH. Or if you are from a country or this one, so it should be you know, uh, there should be, or you can also present a national state digital certificate which has accepted Baxter PH under reciprocal arrangement. So, in the screen, you will see not all countries are have recep reciprocal agreement with the Philippines. So, kindly just visit in the picture below and you will see the list of countries to name few who recently joined Vietnam, USA, Hong Kong. Okay. Or you can also present proof of vaccination. This or any proof of vaccination permitted by the AATF. Now, what are the things that you need to prepare before boarding the plane to the Philippines? You must register to One Health Pass. Uh, please be mindful of the legit website to register. This is free guys no need to pay for it to register for the one health pass i'll just simple i'll just put the link in the description below also you will observe wearing mandatory wearing of face mask and face shields it depends on the areas alert and um, areas under alert level one and two one to three in the philippines um also use of the trace mobile application this is free you can download it download it from your mobile phone to generate and scan their qr code when entering in boarding from and upon arrival in all philippine airports now another enhanced enhanced health and safety protocols are the temp reg mandatory temperature checking physical and social distancing mandatory public safety announcements and regular sanitation and disinfect disinfection that's it for today guys i hope you i hope my video helps a little bit i'll see you again in my next vlog bye